I am Alan. This video. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, and welcome back to more Drama Trash. Today, we're going to be talking about my favorite niche extreme demons because over the past year i've kind of been like progressively pushing myself out of the comfort zone of the known levels to become like the extreme demon guy beating a bunch of like really random niche extremes partially because of the fact that i've started beating enough to where i don't have a lot of very popular levels left but i've been beating a lot of really cool stuff that i think needs to get more attention essentially so today i wanted to talk about some of my personal favorites from the past year most of which are from like the past handful of months i'm not gonna lie because over the past few months i've beaten some really cool stuff but before we get into that i want to be talking about some honorable mentions and of course subscribe to the channel if you haven't already the prometheus plushie is coming at 200,000, which is very soon thank you so much for that but let's hop right into it. Start off with some honorable mentions, levels that I deem to be not niche enough, if I can say that. Levels that are kind of known, but kind of not known. They're like, if you kind of like extreme demons, you've probably heard of them. It is Load in a Fishwasher by Coco43. I think this is a really fun level. It is super exciting, super enjoyable, timing-based level with a handful of choke points here and there. That is just an exciting play, you know? I thought it was really enjoyable. Weird level, like every Coco level ever. But it's one of those levels that has gotten known because of the fact that it has a really goofy name, which, you know there loading the fish washer what the hell is a fish washer why are you loading it right it's one of those levels next up is an old classic factory realm x which recently has gotten a very massive resurgence in the extreme demon grinder community seeing as there after i beaten it there has been a good handful of people who have started beating it and a lot of people have been really really liking it so this is turning into one of those cult classic levels kind of like killbot where people just didn't initially like it but now that people are like really good at the game they're really 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 enjoying it and i think that's really awesome i'm happy i'm really happy to hear that factory realm x another honorable mention really good level next up is one of my favorite easy extreme demons it is helios and oh my god this level is amazing i love this level i think it's super good super fun it's easily one of the best easy extreme demons in the game i think but because of the recent addition to gddp in the easiest tier of extreme demons it is getting a lot of resurgence meaning that i can't really call it niche anymore uh you guys can come back and call me a hypocrite about that later when one of the levels is also on the gdp uh anyway i digress helios really good level the fourth honorable mention is the hell nuts i don't really need to say anything about that it's just a fun timing level it takes the old classic 1.4 quote-unquote impossible gameplay and it just makes it into to a fun little timing ship challenge and i thought it was really fun it is one of those levels that you kind of like have to be way above its skill to truly enjoy but if you do it is very good it is i would say it's very known throughout the extreme grinder community to be a good level it just has its quirks with the last 20 percent being absolutely impossible but you know irrelevant to this conversation but it is a good level and a lot of people have been beating it and calling it super fun so i would highly recommend checking it out and then lastly one of my personal favorite easy extremes again it is roby another level that was recently added to the platinum tier on the gdp meaning that it is getting a lot of new attention but it is a very fun level i would highly 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 recommend it go check it out those are the honorable mentions let's get on with the list number five now, the first level that I want to talk about is Firepower by Silo, a level that you might be like, oh, Aeon, you have not beaten this level. But as you can very clearly tell by the footage playing in the background, I have. I've just not uploaded the video yet. I wanted to make this video before because I thought this level was incredible. This is a very cool take on the classic Nine Circles formula where, unlike every other modern Nine Circles, it actually has a pre-drop and it is a super satisfying and super enjoyable level despite the fact that 40 percent of it is drop this is probably i would say the best nice service level in the entire game and it, it just has this really fun charm to it you, you're gonna see throughout the level that there's a bunch of like little guys and those little guys they're just they're so i don't know they just bring so much life and charm into the level itself while also simultaneously having super enjoyable and incredibly consistent gameplay similar to every silo level ever this level is wildly skill-based therefore it might be a little bit of a challenge if you aren't above the skill range for the level itself but it's just it's just a blast to play i had a really good time playing it and it just i don't know it just felt awesome it's a hard wave level that i felt like i had a lot of control over and it was just a good time silo is kind of controversial in the sense that because of the fact that it's like 100 percent skill based basically people just kind of find it like not unfair but you know, it's just, they feel like the gameplay just kind of gets boring. I think this is like the exact opposite. I think this is like one of the most fun and exhilarating levels to have come out in 2023. And it just goes to show that Silo can make some really good gameplay. And I think this is like the perfect example of that. It gets progressively harder throughout the entire 
level. The beginning is the easiest, the ending is the hardest, and it's just super enjoyable. It's a little bit daunting because it's over two minutes long in that regard, but I highly recommend this one. Fire Viral Basilo, whew, what a fire level. Sorry, never gonna speak ever again. That was horrible, my bad. Number four. At number four, we have the number one goof demon itself, Miss You. Uh, I don't think this level works anymore. I should have made this video before 2.2 came out. However, God, this level is so awesome. I did this for my 200th extreme and it is so incredible. It is one of the most unique learning experiences that I've ever had in the game. And just trying to figure everything out is kind of like solving a puzzle, which to most people might sound like not very fun, but I thought it was really, really, really enjoyable. And this level in particular is just, you just have to do stuff in such unique ways to make it just work. And I don't know how Schmeagles does it, but every single level he puts out is just one of those, your brain just kind of like shrivels in and then you figure it out and then you're like super expansion. And it's just really cool and really awesome. And this level in particular, I think does that. And then it's just a bunch of nerve control at the very end to like stay focused. A lot of this level is just learning the first 40%. And once you pass 40%, it's just, are you able to not mess up? And to a lot of people that sounds bad, but it's just, I don't know, there's just something about this level in particular that just kind of does it well, which is weird because most levels that do this, where it's like the beginning is super hard and then the ending is super easy, doesn't really do that. But because of the element of memory added to it, it just becomes this incredibly satisfying journey to go on. And I really liked it. I thought it was awesome. Number three. Next up, number three, we have Water Demon by Hexatine, and this is uh, the aforementioned Hypocrite Demon, because this is on the GDP now. It was added to the GDP after my suggestion, and it is just a really funky timing level. I did this as a challenge to myself, where I would just go on to the most recent Extreme Demon, play whatever I saw that I did not know first, and I ended up finding one of my absolute favorite levels. This level is super good, super fun, super satisfying. It has incredibly unique gameplay, kind of like Karma L-esque, but on crack. And that sounds like a bad thing, but it really isn't somehow. I don't know how that works, but it just kind of does. And it's very cool. Like a lot of the random weird gimmicks that the gameplay uses just kind of feel great. You know, you just play it and you just kind of like, you just feel awesome doing it. And I can't really explain anything about it. Visually, it's very cool. It has a lot of really, really cool uh, effects th scattered throughout that just makes it feel very alive. And the level never f really felt boring to me. I've heard some criticisms about the fact that the level is weird, which fair enough. I mean, this video is about my favorite weird niche levels and I think this fits perfectly. I think Water Demon personally is like top tier. I can't really say anything about it. The only reason I added this, even though it's a GDP level, is because it's so high in the difficulty range that people just won't play it unless you're like really good at the game. So Water Demon by Hexadine, super good, super awesome. One of the craziest atmospheres I've ever seen in any level, and it's just incredible. Number two. At number two, we have a part 17 of Aeon Air talks about really goofy demon that no one ever knew existed. That he just suddenly decided this is the greatest level of all time. This is Spirit House. And I can't really explain what makes this level so awesome to me. It's just a very simple in every regard level that takes heavy inspiration from Renovant and Allegiance. And there's just something specific about this level to me that just made it such a weird and incredibly enjoyable experience for me. And I can't really put my finger on why, because there's nothing about this level that screams that this is one of the best levels in the game. It just is, in my case. And I just haven't figured out why. It rips a lot of asses from Mario. It uses a really silly, goofy song. It tries to be this scary, eerie level, and it just kind of like falls in that uncanny valley of absolutely hilarious. And I love it for that. It's just really awesome. And I just, there's something very niche about this that feels Kind of like a void to me whereas like the level is so insanely goofy that you can't take it seriously and because of that it becomes incredibly fun the gameplay is very satisfying it's super super consistent with a couple choke points scattered throughout but it is insanely insanely nice to play everything flows together very nicely it's, ultra Kawa did a really good job verifying this and it's just a level that if you're good enough you should play it 
You just should. Is it just good? It's just a good level. Or maybe that's just me. I don't know, man. I can't really put my finger on it. Number one. And to absolutely zero people's surprise ever, number one is Neurostasis by Kiwi Pepe. I love this level. I, I, I think this is a genuine no flaw level. It has some of the most satisfying gameplay of all time. It has no particularly crazy choke points that make it unfun to play from zero. You get consistent with absolutely everything and everything feels nice on the touch. And the song in this level, I think works to its greatest asset really, where the serenity of the song itself makes the stressful element of the gameplay and song and atmosphere of the level just kind of work in a really fantastical way it's one of those levels that you should get nervous with but because of the song it kind of like just calms you a little bit in like a weird this shouldn't happen kind of ways and it just felt really cool to play the very 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 evident progression of the level itself just makes everything feel better to play and there was never a moment where dying far in this felt like it didn't feel fair despite the fact that there are some i would call almost objectively unfair parts with very weird inputs but it just works and i can't really tell you why he would penguin made an entire video dissecting the thought process and creation of this level and i would highly recommend watching that i'm going to link it in the description because he goes into detail on how it was made and what the idea behind the level was in such a creative way and it really makes you appreciate this level despite even if you don't like it you would just be like wow that is a really cool way to create and i think the idea of just progressively becoming more and more just crazy and erratic just worked with this level and everything just builds this insane experience and anyone who has played this level agrees that this is one of the coolest experiences that you can have in this game and i would highly recommend it for anyone who's good enough sadly the level is really difficult so it's not for everyone but this might unironically be one of the best levels to come out in the past like five years this level is absolutely insane Anyway, that was my top five favorite niche extremists. I, I, don't, I don't really know what to say. I just wanted to share some levels that I love and why I love them. Uh, I feel like a lot of the time in my videos where I ex talk about the level, I never really go into detail on why I think the levels are fun in the way that they are. Because a lot of people just want to see reaction me just, oh my god, you know, and then move on. So I wanted to take a little bit of time to explain some of my personal favorite levels of the past year. Yeah, past year. Well, it's more like past like five months, but y y you know. I digress. I wanted to just explain a lot of these things, and I think I got to say what I wanted about the levels that I've recently fallen in love with. Anyone who knows me or see me talk anywhere on Discord knows that while I was playing these levels, I could not shut up about them. So if you are an enjoyer of Extreme Demons or want to challenge yourself in any capacity, go check these levels out. In the description, I will link how hard they are and what difficulty range they are in so that if you do not know anything about this level but want to try them out, you have like a rough reference of how difficult they are. Anyway, I'll see you guys around. Each green stuff is dehydrated. Thank you for making it better. I hope my was a little bit better too. Again, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. That way we can get the Aeon Air plushie, the Prometheus plushie as soon as possible. I would truly appreciate that. And use the link in the description for G Fuel. I would truly appreciate it. Super smart challenge directly. Take care, everyone. Love y'all. Peace out. And I'll see you guys later.